Rappers have their own different whole thing. They spend hours to take the best shot. Photographers have their own thing. They take hours to take their best shot. So my editor knows they can just remove her comment <laughs> and I'll just repeat. <laughs> We're climbing these stairs. It's getting cold. So now we are going to do our cooking experience for the first time in the camp. So I am instructed to bring the utensils from the back of the car. Open it like this. Uh, from the tent. This is uh, the Thai satay sauce. Welcome to day two in Iceland. Today we have plans to visit a lot of those really amazing places, waterfalls, natural beauty, and enjoy ourselves. I don't think I want me to do anything much because I can mess it up. So, so did you want me to get those? No, I just <laughs> see. I told you, she doesn't want me to do much. All right, guys. So the tent is done, and now we're gonna go ahead. So we are continuing to drive towards this geyser. It's called Strocker and we're hitting some really beautiful views, lake. We don't even know where we're going because the navigator you is not that the, efficient. You have to take the roundabout cylinder. Hello everyone. Welcome to the geyser center. You can see behind me is the geyser center look how some of this area is protected because you can't get inside and uh, there's sulfur maybe even harmful chemicals Here is the Strokur Geyser, Strokur Geyser, or Strokur, which is a geothermal area right behind me. You can see, and there's a huge line as well. So we're gonna go capture that. Stakes are getting higher and higher. We want this geyser to erupt. Is it going to happen or not? Find out in the next episode. Dekha. concluding our visit to Geyser and Strokur and this is the third most uh, active or maybe the largest geysers. The first one is in our own country, in our backyard, the Yellowstone and uh, yeah this is the third largest and then the second one I think is in New Zealand. That's another place where you find a lot of geysers. They're like, okay, which eruption was the so best? Photographers have their own different whole thing. Uh -huh. Like they spend hours to take the best shot. Right. Photographers have their own thing. They take hours to take their best shot. So my editor knows they can just remove her comment <laughs> and I'll just repeat. 
Where is the car? I don't even know where the car is. So we need some rain jackets because when you go behind the waterfall, then it, you get really wet. Thank you. So we got a rain jacket, now we can go to the waterfall and uh, not get wet. This is going to be helpful. I have arrived here at this place where there is a beautiful waterfall and I'm going dressed as if I'm gonna take a dive but I'm not. I bought it at the souvenir shop. But okay, let's focus on the more important stuff. The beautiful, majestic view of the waterfall. <laughs> If you come here, rain jacket is a must. Everywhere, every waterfall, you gotta get a rain jacket. This is an experience. So make sure that you're not making this experience a bad experience. Go down, na 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 Go down, na 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 It's almost like it's raining in here, in this just specific part of the overall place. Oh my god! I can't believe I'm so close to the waterfall. Be careful, you don't want to slip here. So if you decide to go by the waterfall, <laughs> You're gonna get completely soaked. So, you can see. I mean, as you can see, Awantika did not, you know, carry proper gear. So that's why she's uh, a little bit more soaked. Getting closer to the waterfall now. We are going right behind the waterfall. You get like really, really soaked. And you can see that we're climbing these stairs and it's getting cold. really cold here. I'm freezing. My nose is freezing. My ears are freezing. So we are now wrapping up our visit to these beautiful Silja waterfalls. Okay, I'm gonna get totally wet if I go further. I'm gonna stand on the edge of the cliff and get these beautiful mountains. <laughs> 